If you're thinking of building a home, you'll have a few decisions to make regarding your roof. One of these might be how it will be framed. Roof rafters and roof trusses are two of the primary roof framing methods, but is one better than the other? I'm Thomas Williams with Colony Roofers, and in this video, we're going to examine rafters versus trusses and the specifics of each. So, what are rafters? Rafters are a series of wooden beams that serve as sloped structural pieces. As the frame of your roof, they support the weight of all your subsequent roofing materials, including the decking, underlayment, and shingles. When rafters are used for framing a roof, all of the lumber is cut on the job site. The rafters and exterior walls are secured with ceiling joists, and a ridge board or ridge beam will be used to support the high points of the rafters. Like rafters, trusses are a way to frame your home's roof and support the weight of your roofing materials. However, trusses are made and structured differently than rafters. The material that is used for trusses is more lightweight than rafter boards. And trusses are also prefabricated, so instead of being cut on site, they are made and delivered to the site ready to go. Trusses have cords on the top and bottom as opposed to stick framing, which is what you find with rafters. This arranges to form a web that allows broader weight distribution to outside walls. So, what are the differences between rafters and trusses? Of course, the primary difference lies in the way they frame roofing systems. Stick-framed roofs, which are rafters, use individual rafters that will go from the ridge of the roof to the top of the exterior wall. Truss-framed roofs use prefabricated truss units that are triangular in shape and form a web pattern when installed. This leads us to the next difference, which is that rafters are cut on site while trusses are prefabricated in a factory. Another difference between rafters and trusses is the material. Trusses usually use 2x4s, while rafters are made using 2x8s, 2x10s, and 2x12s. What are the pros of rafters? Rafters are a traditional tried and true method of framing roofs with many advantages. They can be used for any building location, even remote areas, because they are fabricated on site. Rafters can offer a quicker turnaround time. Again, because they are built on site, you don't have to worry about the time it takes to design the trusses, have them prefabricated off site, and then delivered. Rafters offer more space in the home and attic as well. With rafters, you leave yourself the option to convert your attic into living space or to create a vaulted ceiling on the lower floor. Finally, rafters are easier to insulate than trusses, and insulation is a huge key to having an energy efficient home. Now that we've talked about the pros of rafters, let's take a look at some of the cons. While they can offer a quicker turnaround time initially, they can also take longer to actually install. While there's no planning required beforehand, they do need to be cut and carefully installed on site as opposed to trusses, which are pre-made and can be installed rather quickly. Rafters are usually more expensive than trusses as well. Once you factor in the cost of materials and labor, rafters come with a higher price tag than trusses do. Lastly, rafters require a highly skilled contractor to install. There is a lot more on-site knowledge and technique that goes into installing rafters, so it's extremely important to find someone who knows exactly what they are doing. We talked about the pros of rafters, now let's talk about the pros of trusses. Trusses are often less expensive than rafters. You do need to keep in mind the hidden costs of trusses though, such as the shipping costs and potentially renting equipment for them to be lifted into place. Another advantage to trusses is that they offer excellent span and strength. Rafters typically can only span about 30 feet, while trusses can span all the way to 60 feet because of their web design. Additionally, there is less room for error with trusses. Because they are pre-made in a factory according to the specifications of your structure, there is much less of a chance for human error. Trusses also offer faster framing once the materials have been delivered. Since they are ready to go on site immediately, they need only be lifted and secured into place. Trusses have a lot of pros, but what are the cons? Trusses offer less flexibility than rafters in terms of design. Once they are installed, there really isn't any room for modifications. 
trusses also offer less additional space. With rafters, you have the option to convert the attic to living space or have vaulted ceilings, but trusses don't offer as many of these options. Because they are prefabricated and not cut on site, trusses require delivery and along with that comes shipping costs. Additionally, because of the need for delivery and the fact that trusses are rather large pieces of material, they provide significant logistical challenges for remote or hard to reach sites. Whether you choose rafters or trusses will depend on your needs. Trusses are more budget friendly, but rafters allow for more design freedom and more space inside the home. If you have any questions about building a new roof, give us a call at Colony Roofers. We have a team of knowledgeable staff members that are always happy to answer any questions and help in any way we can. Thanks for watching.